to my channel. If you're new, I'm Dominique and I'd love for you to join the Nick Nick Squad. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you'll always know whenever I upload a new video. So it's the first video of the new year. So happy new year to everyone, all my subscribers. I love you all so much. Thanks for sticking around with me. Happy 2020, y'all. I can't believe we've entered a whole new decade. Like that's insane that's so crazy but yeah we're here and i have my goals set for this year i have um some personal goals some uh content goals like family goals like a little bit of everything so i hope you guys have your goals too and one of my biggest goals this year is to lose weight all right guys so for today's video i'm finally stepping out of my comfort zone and opening up about starting my weight loss journey so i'm going to be sharing some information as well with 310 nutrition who is actually sponsoring this video so huge thank you to them um so yeah they hit me up around the end of last year in 2019 for a collab and it's going to be an ongoing thing with them and i thought it was the perfect timing because i wanted to get more serious about losing weight and starting my whole weight loss journey so I thought it was the perfect opportunity to kind of jumpstart this journey. And if you didn't know, 310 Nutrition is a company that provides meal replacement shakes. So just by replacing one meal a day with the shake can boost your metabolism, increase your energy levels, and also suppress your appetite with healthy ingredients to make you look and feel your best. And stay tuned to the end of this video for a little mini haul on what they sent me. And I'll also provide a link down below where you can purchase 310 Nutrition products for a 15% discount. Don't quote me on the discount. I think it's 15%, but either way, I'll let you guys know down below. All right, so let's begin. FYI, disclaimer, I don't know how this video is about to turn out. I'm just going to be talking to y'all, okay? So, where do I begin? I guess all throughout my life I've been a dancer from kindergarten all the way up through my college years. I was a majorette, a cheerleader, a pom-pom dancer, mainly a dancer throughout my youth. So, I've gone from a very high metabolism where I can eat whatever the hell I wanted without a problem when gain a pound to, you know, slowly over the years, you know, my metabolism began to fall as per the usual, right? So years later, fast forward, got married, had a baby, and here we are today. And my baby weight has turned into now what I like to call toddler weight because 3J is now two, <laughs> okay? And my weight is still right in here. So I know some of y'all are probably looking at me like, Dominique, what the hell weight you talking about losing? But y'all don't know what's up under these t-shirts, okay? Y'all don't know what's going on up under here. It's a lot. It's a lot. I'm telling y'all, the struggle is so real. Like, I've never struggled this much before at this point in my life. Like, I'm the biggest I've ever been, and for me, it's not normal. So, for months, my husband has been trying to get me to do this video and it's really really been hard for me i'm finally doing it now because like i said 310 nutrition hit me up like towards the end of last year so it's taken me several months to do this um it's taken me a lot of time to finally open up and share this because number one is forcing me to be vulnerable to you guys y'all know i'm just mainly all about the hair the glam the beauty, the makeup, that kind of thing. That's what y'all see on my channel, right? But I've never opened up on any of my social media platforms about my weight and what I'm going through. So this is a first for me. This is new for me. And number two, um, it's taking me all this time because I was and still am afraid of whatever criticism may come from this. Like, I've watched several videos like this over the years and even more so in the past year or two since I've, you know, had 3J because I've been struggling with my weight ever since and I didn't have a snapback. So I will watch these videos all the time on people's weight loss journeys and 
I just saw a lot of negativity in the comments and I'm just like, that's so sad because I mean, why would you criticize someone for their weight or what they're trying to do in their journeys? Like it's their journey, it's their story. And, you know, I just see all this, you know, criticism that people would get for sharing their journey with uh, people. So yeah, I was afraid. I'm very nervous now. <laughs> you feel me in this video now. In fact, I had to take me a glass of wine and knock it back before I press record. So if I'm a little loopy, you know, don't mind it. It's helping me, but you know, whatever. But yeah, I'm very self-conscious about my body and specific areas on my body. Um, especially now more so than ever because I've been told several times by friends and family that I look pregnant. So yeah, you heard me correctly. Yeah. It be the people that you know. It be your own family. I say all this to say that this is a lot for me. Like I said, me filming this video outside my comfort zone. So I'm sharing my story with you guys. So I hope that it's well received with love in a positive light. And I wish the same for anybody else who's on a weight loss journey or whatever your journey may be. I want the same for you guys. Like, I just want all positive vibes, like no bad vibes allowed, just positive energy over here. So if you have something negative to say, just please refrain from doing it on my channel and you can exit now. So my whole reason for starting this weight loss journey is because I don't feel my best and I feel like I don't look my best either. Like I'm tired of feeling fatigued. I'm sick and tired of what I see in the mirror, like that I have love rolls back rolls all kinds of rolls like i will show you and this is gonna be so hard for me but i'm gonna insert a clip of what i look like now and this is what's been hiding up under my shirts up under my tops and it's the reason why i don't take certain photos on instagram like i really want to branch out and get into more fashion content which I kind of did with my ASOS pajama haul video. Um, so yeah, even that was hard for me with some of the, the items that I had in that video. But it's why you don't see many photos like that on my Instagram account. It's basically my face and hair. That's pretty much what you've been getting up until this point. But I just don't feel comfortable anymore in my skin. And that's really hard for me because... It took me a long time to be able to feel comfortable and at one point I was comfortable in my own skin and I just feel like I've kind of lost myself after I gave birth. So I'm just trying to find myself again. So I know I have it in me. I know I can do it. It's just I got to get there. I got to find me. I got to find myself. But yeah, I have love rolls everywhere. My stomach is huge and... I see the weight gain like a lot of you may look at me if you're my well I'm not gonna even go say friends and family because I've been told by friends and family that I look pregnant so some of you maybe y'all be lying to me I don't know maybe people who come up to me be lying but I see the weight gain like and it's not just me noticing it it's like I said my family and friends have pointed this out several times and also strangers like I remember being at Burlington's checking out um, to get those Christmas pillows and um, the lady just started congratulating me on my pregnancy and I'm like I'm not pregnant <laughs> and I've gotten that several times last year like 2019 has been by far the worst year for me mentally like I almost went through a little depression I think I did go through a little depression um I'm good now as far as my mental state, but 2019 was very, very hard for me. When I tell you I can't count how many times people have congratulated me, not even asking me am I pregnant, which is still rude, by the way. You don't ask a woman if she's pregnant. Um, but, you know, I think it's even more rude to just start congratulating me out of the blue. Like, you don't know that I'm pregnant. Like, you can't confirm that unless I tell you. So, I know it's been, like, over five people. Like, there's been people at church, um, my job, uh, people I work with. Uh, like I said, friends and family. 
and the majority of it has been women of all people like women come on y'all know that shit is rude like why i've even had a man tell me that like repeatedly y'all i can't i can't i can't so yeah i've been told a thousand times that i've I'm pregnant and at this point I should have had a whole field of babies because that's how many you know people have told me that um but yeah whenever I get that I just tend to laugh it off but deep down inside I'm crying I'm crying inside like I've even cried in private to myself like it's not a good look when people keep telling you that like clearly it's not just my own eyes like other people can see that I'm starting to gain weight too. And like I said, it's not normal for me. And I know I have a somewhat smaller body frame than some people. I mean, everybody's built differently. And just because my body frame may be smaller than others doesn't mean that I don't have fat too. So just to put that out there. But yeah, aside from that, I've given away a heck of a lot of clothes in my wardrobe. Like, a lot of this stuff is listed on Poshmark, and I give away a lot of clothes to my sister. Lord Jesus, she has all my clothes, <laughs> and I'm glad that I can give it to her so I'll know, you know, it's getting put to some good use. But I'm struggling in my wardrobe. Like, it's hard for me to find clothes. My favorite pair of jeans is from Fashion Nova. I have several, or had several. Let me tell you, I'm about to order the same pair of jeans for the third time. I went from being in a comfortable size 9 to an 11, which I had to give to my sister. And now I feel like I need to order a 13 or 15. Hell, I don't even know. But I'm going to measure myself. But yeah, it's, it's, it's getting pretty ridiculous. Like I'm running out of options in my closet to the point where now I'm having to like borrow my husband's t-shirt. And at first I used to do it all the time just because you know i just want to be cute or whatever but now it's like a necessity like i literally have no other options in my closet sometimes this is what i feel like um so yeah i i just i don't know i'm just so used to having better options to choose from i know that may sound very uh shallow to some people but it's just my story and then lastly and even more personal and I'm not going to get into it too much, but I feel like my weight is or has been affecting my love life. And it's not my husband. It's not my husband. It's me. It's because I don't feel comfortable with myself. I don't feel sexy enough. I feel disgusting. I feel like I look disgusting. And I know that's a lot for me to say right now. And just please keep in mind, I'm in a better positive mental state now. Um, I'm not all the way there yet, but I'm much better than I was. So I'm just telling you these things, just what I was going through. So yeah, it was affecting my love life. It. I'm still trying to work through some things, but yeah, I won't get into that too much because I know that's a very um, intimate part of my life, which I don't really care to share with you guys like that. But just to let you know how big of an issue this is for me, like it's affecting stuff, people around me and not just me. So moving on, <laughs> if you didn't know by now, I'm a natural hairstylist and I work in a salon. So you know salon life is very hard food wise most of the time you're always on your feet you're constantly moving trying to get clients in and out and so you have like a small little bitty window of when you can get something to eat or you create that little window and most of the time it has to be something quick which equals fast food so yeah my eating habits have definitely caught up with me i feel like I look a whole lot different than I did a year ago before I started working in the salon like I can really tell and my clothes tell the truth as well like the clothes don't lie like it's real hard like when you have your button to your pants rolling over toppling over your belly and going up under that little gut that's when you know it's a problem on top of that I'm an emotional eater 
is what I found out. Like I've been doing some research, like I'm an emotional eater. Either I eat a lot when I'm upset or I don't eat at all. And neither one of those are good options to do. Um, I also eat a lot when I get bored. That's what I tend to do when I get bored. I eat and it could be, you know, I'm not even hungry or I'm full and I'm not hungry and I'll just eat. Like if I see food in front of me, my mentality up until this point has been like, okay, there's food in front of me. I have to eat it. I have to finish it all. So yeah, don't even get me started on portion control, which is probably the biggest culprit to why I'm on this weight loss journey now. So yeah, I'll just keep eating until I can't eat anymore, which is kind of ridiculous when you think about it. Cause I'm literally just sitting there stuffing myself until I can't, you know, down anything else. So yeah, that's pretty sad. So in the past, I've tried being a pescatarian, which was really good for me. Um, that was probably about, Hmm, five, six years ago. Yeah, it's been a while. But yeah, I was pescatarian for like 10 months and it was very good for me. I liked it. I felt more energized and then I got off of it, obviously. So yeah, that's that. And then um, more recently, like a year or two ago, I did keto for only three weeks. And it was only three weeks because... My dumb self started it right around holiday season. And your girl ain't like, gonna miss out on the holiday food, okay? That's that. That's that on this weight loss journey or whatever the hell journey I'm on. I'm gonna eat on the holidays, okay? I'm not gonna deprive myself, so let's just be real. But yeah, even on that three-week keto diet, I did see a huge significant improvement in my weight. So for that reason, I did like keto. Um, the only thing thing about it is uh you have to keep up with it because as soon as you get off of it all that weight is going to come back and another thing about keto is what I didn't like about it was um you can't eat as many fruits and vegetables as you wanted to now yes fruits and vegetables are healthy for you um however you have to stay within your macros like um, my, the most that you're supposed to eat for a keto is like your fats. You're supposed to eat more fat than carbs. So it goes fats, proteins, and then carbs, which your carb intake is supposed to be extremely low. And for me, I think I was doing no more than like 15 grams of carbs. So yeah, a lot of fruits and vegetables do have carbs in it because, you know, sugar, even though fruit has sugar in it, it's a natural sugar, yes. Um, it's still healthy, but keto is all about controlling your carbs and, you know, trying to burn off more fat, which is why you eat more fat. But I'm not going to get into all of that. If you want a more detailed video on keto, I can do it for you. But just to let you know, I'm not on keto. Um, I, I don't have plans to be back on keto just yet. I think I might only do it for like when I know I'm about to go on a vacation and I want to be like extra hourglass beach ready. I'll do it for that reason. Um, because like I said, I, I miss eating fruits and vegetables and I, you know, you can't really eat like that on keto. Um, and then of course, when you get off keto, that weight is going to come back. So yeah, I did pescatarian, I did keto, and then I've tried a other few unsuccessful diets. Um, I've also had a personal trainer. I've gone to um, CrossFit classes. Um, I joined a gym, which that did turn out really good for me some years ago. Um, I was doing really well with that, but then life happened. We got, you know, married and had a baby and all that. So, you know, not knocking that at all. The issue with me is I've never stayed committed for a long amount of time. Like, I think the longest that I've ever been committed to a diet or to working out was maybe um, years ago when I did that pescatarian thing for 10 months. I think that's the longest time I've ever been committed at doing something. Um, so... 
Um, I kind of want this weight loss journey to be a lifestyle thing. Not, not kind of want it. I want it to. <laughs> I want this journey to be a lifestyle change because I don't eat the best. I'm not the healthiest eater. Um, but I'm trying to change that now, which is the whole purpose for this journey and for me wanting to lose weight. And for me, motivation is the thing. Like, for me, it's all about mind over matter. And that's the most important. Like, I can sit there and say, okay, I need to run. I need to get on the treadmill. But I'm on the couch, right? So in my mind, I'm like, ugh. I don't feel like getting up. I don't feel like getting dressed for that. Uh, I got to stretch. I got to do this. I got to do that. Uh, it's going to be so tiring. I don't have energy, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, that's just my mind talking to me. But when I actually am doing it, like when I get over my own BS and I'm on there running, I'm doing it right. So, I, you know, I wasted all that time. You know, in my head saying I can't do this or I don't feel like it, you know, just being lazy. And when I'm on the treadmill and I'm actually doing it, I'm like, okay, it's just mind over matter. That's all it is. And I actually feel good by the time I finish my run on the treadmill. Because I actually, I have a love-hate relationship with running. Like, I hate the thought of running. Like I said, I, I struggle with this daily with the whole mind over matter thing. Um, I'm not all the way there yet, but I want to get there and make it a habit so that, you know, it can become a lifestyle for me as far as eating better and working out more. Um, so yeah, once I get over my own self, I'm good to go. But yeah, I, I, I hate thinking about running, but I like the after effect of how it makes me feel. Like, I feel better. I mean, I may be sore, but sore in a good way. But I just feel like healthier. I don't know. It could be anything that just makes me feel positive. I just I just like the after effect of how I feel when I run. But the beginning, like getting to that point is a lot. <laughs> I complain. And, you know, some people are easily motivated by money as far as, you know, linking up to do diets or working out. Or some people are motivated by pictures, which is all great, right? Whatever motivates you please do it. Um, but for me, I'm not easily motivated by outside external sources like that. Like it has to be something deeper. Like for me, it has to start with me. I have to want it enough for myself without being forced or pushed or influenced by outside sources. Like I have to truly and genuinely and honestly want it for myself and it has taken me years to get to this point now where I finally am like okay Dominique enough is enough you have got to lose the weight you have got to set a better example for your family for your son you've got to eat healthier you've got to you know keep it moving I mean I'm not getting any younger y'all I'm like I'm gonna be 34 next month and you know, I still want to look good. Like, I got to keep going. Like, I got to do better. I got to make these changes so that, you know, I can live a healthier lifestyle and set a better example. So, yeah, the whole mind over matter thing, I'm still working on it. I'm still a work in process, but I'm getting there. So, once I get my mind right, then I'm good. So, my goals with this whole weight loss journey is to get down to 130 pounds really 125 pounds if I can. I'm 5'2 in height, um, so I feel like it should be achievable. Um, it seems very far from achievable right now in, you know, my mental state right now. Again, it's mind over matter, but hopefully by me continuing to do what I've been doing as far as eating better and exercising more, it'll be more believable and I can see it better. Um, as far as getting down to my goal weight of 130 pounds, 125 pounds around the area. And once some of this weight starts shedding off, I want to tone up like I want to feel good. I want to look good. I want to look good naked in a mirror. I want to be able to wear 
a two-piece swimsuit and feel comfortable about it and not have to like suck my stomach in all the time like I usually do which I can't even do anymore honestly I can't even do that and I'll show you a clip too like y'all the struggle is real like your girl is out here looking like a can of unbaked biscuits it's just horrible and I'm just trying to be comical right now just to you know keep myself from crying on the inside like I'm good y'all I promise I'm good but this ain't it this ain't where I want to be I want to be better I want to be fit I also want to focus more on my portion control which I've been doing so I have these little um bento lunch boxes that I've well I don't know if they call it lunch box it's basically Tupperware but a fancier more sleek Tupperware and they have the you know the um the portions like not portions but they have little slots where you can put your food in so that you don't overfill those slots so I really like that and I think I got mine in a box of 15 yeah I think it came with 15 of them and I got it off Amazon and it was a really good deal it was very cheap um I'll make sure to link everything everything down below in case you're interested but yeah I've been like meal prepping and taking my lunch with me to work instead of going out to McDonald's or Chick-fil-A or wherever you know is around where I work instead of me getting fast food I'm bringing my own home cooked meals that are much healthier so yeah i just want to focus on portion control and just overall living a healthier lifestyle no diets just eating cleaner because the moment i feel like i'm being deprived or i'm depriving myself of something that's when i usually give up and i don't stick to anything i don't stick to diets and i'm not calling this weight loss journey a diet i'm not calling me wanting to eat healthier options a diet I mean yes it's gonna be my overall diet but I'm not like on a diet diet if you get me like I'm not on keto I'm not on you know a pescatarian I'm not doing vegetarian I'm not vegan hell no uh no offense to anybody who is vegan but at this point in my life I don't even think I'll be able to get there because I like chicken way too much um and seafood but um yeah, so I'm not on any particular diet. I just want to switch out foods that I normally eat and have a healthier option in place of it. Like for me, I get sweet tooths all the time. Like I always am wanting something sweet. And so whenever I get those sweet cravings, I usually like to replace it with grapes, which I have found a new love for all over again. Um, so yeah, grapes really curb my appetite for something sweet because grapes are sweet and they have natural sugar in them. So, um, like I said, even though the sugar is still carbs, I'm still eating a healthier alternative than eating candy or, you know, potato chips or something like that, which I still do eat, um, chips sometimes, but it's like the, the baked kettle uh, brand chips so I'll eat those here and there I don't do it too often but anytime I get cravings like that I'll try to replace it with something more healthy same goes for popcorn like I love me some good butter popcorn but I no longer do the butter instead I've been doing the Angie's what is it called Angie's boom chicka pop Something like that, y'all. I can't remember. But it's in a purple bag, and it's the sweet and salty. And I never would have thought that I would like sweet and salty at the same time. But that popcorn is so good, y'all. Like, it's so healthy. It's only, like, 140 grams of carbs or something like that. So it's very low, but I have it in the little snack pack. So, again, with the whole portion control. Because the first time I bought it, I bought the big bag. And... EJ found me going through the entire bag like in one set and I was like dang this popcorn good and I just kept eating it right um so yeah he thought it was a good idea to buy the bag that comes with six of the snack packs so that way I can force myself not to go overboard and just stick to one little snack size bag so yeah I've been doing that so little things like that I've been changing as far as my overall eating diet 
So yeah, like I said, I don't ever want to feel like I'm depriving myself of something. So if I can find a healthier alternative, great. Um, for like special occasions or something, like I just, you know, uh, celebrated one of my cousin's birthdays and she of course had birthday cake and it was chocolate, which is my favorite. So I'm not going to like deprive myself and be hard on myself like, no, you can't have any cake. Like, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm all here for moderation. So I only ate one piece, even though she did cut me a big piece, but I ain't going to lie. I did eat the whole thing, but you know, it's just little things like that. So I'm going to do it in moderate amounts, but I'm not going to like just be looking to do that all the time, if that makes sense. So far this year, I've been eating a lot cleaner. I've been making more healthier choices. I've been drinking more water and I've been trying to work out at least three times a week. And so far I've lost about five pounds so far. I still have a lot more to go, but you know, I'm gonna have faith and keep it moving. Cause like I said, I do wanna get down to around 130 pounds. 125 pounds somewhere in that ballpark and then i'll be good to go by the way i'm on the nike run app in case anyone wants to add me um so i'll make sure to link it down below i'm also utilizing the my fitness pal app so i've been tracking my weight so far i haven't been logging my food yet but i do plan to um i didn't want to start the year off in such an overwhelming way that I have to track everything, every single thing that I eat, which I do plan to. Um, I, I did that on keto and that was very helpful for me to see what um, I've been intaking by the day. Um, so I do plan to get to that point, but so far I've just been tracking my weight. And speaking of weight, um, I did weigh myself on January 1st when I started this weight loss journey. And my starting weight was 163.7 pounds on the 1st. And like I said, I've lost around 5 pounds now and I am going to weigh myself today. I forgot to do that before this video so I can tell you guys, but I'll just show you. Um, hopefully the number uh, keeps going down. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and so to help me throughout this weight loss journey, I am going to be incorporating 310 nutrition along the way into my diet. And so I want to show you everything that they sent me in their influencer kit. So first up, they sent me these two little packets here and it's the lemonade. So one is cherry lime and then the other one is peach punch. So I feel like this would be really nice when I'm craving like a soda or something like that. Instead of doing that, I can just use these and I'm pretty sure it'll taste sweet and give me that um, sweet craving that I would normally want something besides water. So this will be really good. They also sent me four of these little uh, replacement shakes. These are the meal replacement shakes. So there's four different flavors. I have strawberry, I have vanilla, I have chocolate, and then I have chocolate mint. So I haven't tried these yet, but I will get around to doing that pretty soon because I do have to go to the grocery store. And I like that they sent this little card here because there's two ingredients like well not ingredients but there's two different recipes oh my god i'm struggling to talk maybe it's the wine <laughs> but yeah they sent this little card here with two different recipes on the back of it and one is for a 310 strawberry banana shake so that's when i would use the vanilla meal replacement shake and just add in a few frozen strawberries and a banana and some almond milk so yeah, maybe I'll do a separate video on me trying that out. And then they have another recipe for a salted caramel pie. So these both sound very, very delicious. And then lastly, they sent me this cute little tumbler, I guess, to put the shakes in when I blend it up. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that they sent me. They were also gracious enough to allow me to be an affiliate of 310 Nutrition. So I'll link a 
a link down below in the description box where you can purchase 310 nutrition products and get a 15% off discount but you have to click on the link down below so make sure you check that out in case you're interested all right guys so that pretty much wraps up this video I just kind of wanted to introduce you guys to one of my top goals for 2020 which is to lose weight and get fit. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys are on a weight loss journey as well or whatever your journey is. Please share that down below. Maybe we can all help and support each other and encourage each other to keep going because, you know, positivity and encouragement really, really helps to inspire people, to motivate people to keep going. Like when you hear hey you're doing a good job or "Ooh, girl you're looking good like that pushes you to want to you know keep going so i'm all about creating a healthy environment a safe environment for us so please join in chime in down below in case you're on a journey or if you're looking to start a journey just let us know plus sometimes it's really helpful to have an accountability partner you know so that way you can keep us all motivated so I hope you'll join, join this journey with me and yeah, I just put myself out there today and yeah, it's this alone is going to make me accountable. I feel accountable right now, so I feel like I have to keep going. So yeah, that's the goal, like I said, for 2020 and beyond 2020, like I said, I want to make this a whole lifestyle change and get more healthy. But yeah, I'm thinking about doing an update video, maybe in like another two months or so. So yeah, just to kind of update you guys on everything that's been going on and the progress that I've made in my journey. Um, so yeah, let me know if there's something to get, that you'd be interested in. I could do like maybe a couple of workout videos, cook with me videos, what's in my pantry, what I eat in a day, you know, just throwing some ideas out there. So yeah, let me know if you'd be interested in that and I can definitely film that for you guys. And don't forget to check the description box for the link to 310 Nutrition where you can get 15% off your purchase on 310 Nutrition products. So yeah, definitely check them out and special thank you to 310 Nutrition for sponsoring this video. Anyways, I know this video was probably all over the place, but yeah, if you stay to this point of the video, I appreciate you guys so much. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up because it really does help my channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye.